Hello, I'm Dr. James McAfee, the Department of Library Science, and I'm Courageous, Confident Clarion. Uh, I've been a faculty member at Clarion since uh, the spring of 1991, uh, teaching entirely in the Department of Library Science. I came here from the University of California, Los Angeles, which might seem strange, uh, depending on how long you've lived in Western Pennsylvania, but uh, I found that after 13 years there, getting my doctorate in uh, history and MLS in library science, that I was ready for a change, and Clarion provided the teaching opportunity that I was hoping to find. How many courses are you instructing at Clarion? Currently, I have uh, four courses, uh, three graduate courses, one undergraduate, and I guess I also have an individualized instruction with one student. So that's unusual to be having so many classes in one semester. Normally, it would be three graduate classes. What is it like instructing online courses to graduate students? Well, it's, it's a challenge to teach and it's a challenge to learn online. And we're, we're fortunate that our students uh, and faculty rise to that challenge. Um, one does not appreciate how easy communication is in a face-to-face -face setting until you're trying to teach 30 to 35 students online where different people are reading your post at different times and things are already a little bit out of sync. But we found that our students um, adjust to this. Uh, the, the approach to getting work done is a little bit different where typically you're thinking about an assignment for a unit that will last an entire week and there'll be interaction during that entire period as opposed to compressing all of that into a few hours in a classroom setting. How do you set the format for the class syllabus? Um, I have a, a, a relatively uh, traditional approach for most of my classes. Uh, since I teach in the area of organization of information, I, I like to have my syllabi follow a consistent pattern so that if anybody has had me once, they'll know pretty much uh, how the course is going to be organized uh, in terms of units, assignments. I usually do a, uh, a weekly arrangement indicating which units, assignments, readings will be due on uh, any particular week. How long are the online courses? Well, uh, the online courses uh, have the same instructional hours as the equivalent course offered face-to-face. -face. So that might mean, uh, I believe it's uh, 100 and, uh, I'm thinking, 30, I think 35 hours of instruction, say, if during a 14-week semester, depending on, regardless of how many times a week you meet. So there would be an expectation for the same amount of con content if you were teaching a four-week session or a five-week session or a seven-week intensive session. It basically just means that the students have to work that much harder to cover the same material within that uh, amount of time. If a student has issues with the coursework, how can they talk with you to correct the issues? Well, one of the, one of the important things to work on in online education um, is communication. Um, I typically encourage students to post uh, questions that are, will be of interest to the entire class um, in the appropriate discussion topic for that class. If it's an individual problem, they can email me. Uh, I keep my office hours religiously, so if they do call, I will be in the office to answer their, uh, their questions. Um, when people have very unusual schedules, and we, are, we do have students um, uh, all over the country and, and in foreign countries as well. So if Eastern time doesn't work out, I'll arrange to talk to them uh, during an evening or sometimes during a weekend, whatever it takes to uh, resolve the questions. And, and it's amazing how a few minutes uh, on the telephone will resolve issues that might require multiple email or discussion post exchanges. What do you hope a graduate will take from Clarion? Well, of course, uh, first and foremost, I'd like them to take a first-class education. We're very proud that our uh, master's program is accredited by the American Library Association. Uh, and that means that their degree is going to be uh, competitive with, with degrees from many of the other 60 or so ALA accredited institutions. Um, we've prided ourselves for a long time on preparing people for that entry-level position. 
Uh, some of our students go on to additional graduate work, but our focus is basically to make people competitive for that first job, get their careers uh, launched.